Hi Malaysians, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking about my unpopular opinions, baby. Please keep all the negative comments to yourself. This is just my opinion, like how I feel about certain stuff. Cause I just feel like it need to be known. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, my first one is AirPods, like, okay. <laughs> I don't like AirPods because, like, people be using them as freaking accessories. Like, why do you need AirPods in a YouTube video? Like, if I was making a YouTube video and my earrings was AirPods, like, that just make me that just make me feel like you listening to music and you don't care about making this video and whatever you're talking about, whatever you're doing is just irrelevant to me. And then like AirPods is just the exact same thing as the headphones. But Bluetooth, like I just feel like it's a waste of money. And yeah, next. Chick-fil-A. I feel like Chick-fil-A is so overrated. Like, let me tell you why. <laughs> so, don't mind my nail. I broke it. But Chick-fil-A is so overrated because everything on the menu tastes the exact same. And people be really, like, posting how they like Chick-fil-A so much and how, like, they go almost every day. It's so addicting. But I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite, but I go to Chick-fil-A like not all the time, like how people be going, but I go like most of the time. Like if I could choose a restaurant to go to, I would to choose Chick-fil-A. What you could you do you what you want you you could do because the nuggets is great. Yes. Every day, Chick-fil-A, like, no. It's the same thing every time I go. Like, no. Next. Okay. I feel like white and black t-shirts on dudes that's, like, fitted with some jeans or some shorts is an outfit. Like, that is an outfit you cannot convince me it's not an outfit. And that's an unpopular opinion to me because everybody think a dude need to have all these freaking over designer. What? Over designer. <laughs> like, people feel like people need to have these designer shirts and designer glasses. Uh. I got the new Versace glasses, you dig it? Like, no, you do not need to have all that designer stuff to look cute. I think a boy with just a plain white or black fitted t-shirt and some jeans or some shorts is cute. Like, you can't convince me. You can't. And I think that's unpopular because a lot of dudes just feel like they need to spend all this money on this designer stuff. Next. Oh, I cannot stress this enough. All water, let me get closer. All water do not taste the same. All water do not taste the same. I cannot stress this enough. Like, I don't drink soda. So, for me, it's just water and juice. The Sunny water is good to me. I kind of like Aquafina, but I feel like some of the off-brand waters taste better than the on-brand waters. And faucet water, no. Like, you will never catch me drinking faucet water. Like, that is so nasty. Like, oh my gosh. Faucet water gotta be the worst water in the world. Like, I'm not drinking no faucet water. No. Period. I'm not. Like, it's no way you'll catch me drinking faucet water. Next, virginity. <laughs> nah, virginity. I just feel like people be making a big deal about virginities. Like, I think, like, 
Like, what you could you do you what you want you you could do Regina uses your temple like that's important and all of that but come on now you do not got, gotta wait till you marry like if you feel like you're in love with somebody and you want to give that part to your your part that oh oh shit here we go again <laughs> you want to give that part of yourself to your other half i feel like you can like there's no reason why you have to wait to your married if you never get married then you just gonna die virgin people should be able to lose their virginity to whoever they feel like they've been with for a long time and they really love them leave it at that i mean if they get their heart broke so what it's life like let them go through that journey let them go through that because that just makes you a stronger person that just makes you know what to find in dudes and what not to find in dudes like all of that just comes in hand with the virginity next <laughs> i'm really gonna get bashed for this one especially from girls but don't bash me it's my opinion. Ari overrated. Let me tell you how. So, people be like really saying like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Ah. I just feel like she pretty. I, she really is pretty. Like, she's so pretty. I love Ari. Don't get me wrong. But she's overrated because I feel like the only reason why she's on top the way she is is because first of all when she went with G Herbo I feel like she got a lot of clout off of him. Second of all I feel like once they broke up she got more clout because girl, girls empowerment like that's in right now like the girls empowerment thing theme or thing that's in like everybody loves the little girl empowerment stones and all of that like and girls run this world like period she really not even all of that like i mean yeah she extra she funny several bad puns later she just not all of that to me next okay so when dudes be wearing my hair okay when dudes be wearing freaking hoops and all of that like that's a no like that's a l like no dudes only look good with diamonds and nuggets like if they don't got a diamond in their ear or a nugget no them hoops them ga gauges or gouges i don't know <laughs> Them is not cute, like none of that is cute to me. Like that's just a whole turn off. Like if you not gonna wear diamonds, diamonds or nuggets, don't put no earring in your ear at all. Blue face. Blue face is overrated. I feel like he's a one hit wonder. I wouldn't listen to it in my free time, but the only song that really like hit was Tatiana, like that's really my opinion. I feel like that's the only song that really, like, really, really, really got popular. Is Tatiana? I don't like his music at all. End of discussion. Next, Snapchat and Twitter is not better than Instagram, and I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Like. You can't tell. I love Instagram. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my Twitter page. But I feel like not nothing is on my Twitter. Like, I feel like I be wanting to find funny stuff on my Twitter. Like, I be wanting to find good videos. Like, anything. But I just don't. <laughs> I don't know, like, what's wrong with my Twitter. Like, I really don't. So, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I get on it still, like, sometimes. But... No, Instagram is up there. Like, Instagram is the best app ever. Even though I think Instagram and Snapchat get their updates or videos, like, you know, little dating videos or, or little funny videos, I get. I think they get it from Twitter. But Instagram better and I don't care. Next, to all the best friends out there in the world, you do not have to talk every day. I really cannot stand that. Like, if we're close friends, I feel like you should understand that I have a life. 
like I have a job I have family at home I'm the oldest sibling at all my siblings and I just feel like I have siblings at home that need me and talking to you every day all day is not the move like I'm single as a Pringle and I wouldn't even talk to my boyfriend every nah I said that back try me bitch I wouldn't talk to my boyfriend all the time throughout every day like that's just a no for me like I have a life and I feel like they should have a life too we both trying to get our lives together and you want to talk to me every day you're described what you could you do you what you want you you could do distracting me from what I need to be doing, girl. If you close with someone, you do not have to talk to them every single day. Like that's just gonna take the fun out of spilling the juice, like spilling the tea. That's gonna take the fun out of that. Like I'm not gonna have tea every day unless I'm drama filled, but I'm not. I don't like the negativity. I'm a loner, I have no friends, but still, like, come on, for real. Get real with yourself. The government killed Nipsey, and I don't care. But nobody says, I feel like the government really, like, had something to do with Nipsey's death. And I'ma tell you why. Anytime somebody wanna, like, get involved with, what's his name, the old man, yeah, every time somebody wanna get involved with him or wanna do a docu documentary. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Someone dies or something happens, like, government. What is y'all hiding from us? I wanna know. After his death, like, his city loved him. Like, his city gave so much love. The Bloods and Crips mended for that day just for Nipsey, like, you can't tell me that that's not real and some gangbanger or some freaking gangster kill him. Like, you can't tell me that is real. Like, no. Ain't no way. Like, everybody in that city love him. So how he get killed in front of his shop in his city? Like, come on now. Be real. But R.I.P. Nipsey. Period. Rest in peace. I'll let it. <laughs> city girls. <laughs> I think the City Girls is overrated to a certain extent. Don't get me wrong, I like the City Girls act up. You can get snatched up, all of that, like period. I love the City Girls. But Megan Stallion, she's saying the negative stuff like um, doing it to people and all of that. But she's not sitting around singing, talking about how you need to do it to owe people for their money and do it to somebody with some money and take their money and make them broke da, 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 da. like she's not talking about none of that she's talking about getting your own money and if everybody else you to really it's like all of that like and i just feel like city girls their girl empowerment is on a whole different kind of thing that like, i'm not about to do it to no old man and make him broke for his money like no I got my own money. I want to make this ground for myself. And you're telling me to do the opposite, basically. But, yeah, I feel like they over overrated to a certain extent because they're telling young girls to go out here and buy that cat so you can make that rich nigga broke, buy, him, buy you whatever you want. But they songs is catchy. I love their music. Don't get me wrong. Don't bash me. But they are overrated to a certain extent. But, next couples pranks couples youtubes like all of that all of that like i can't <laughs> that stuff is so afraid i feel like carmen and corey fake i feel like what's that damien and freaking bianca fake people be bashing the royal family queen and clarence like i feel like they be bashing them but it's no reason to bash them because that's just how they act. I think that's just their personality. Like, they they don't really do pranks like that. But when you look at their vlogs and when you look at like their other kind of videos, like if they do do a prank, that's just literally how they act. Like they just act like they doing it for YouTube, but they're really not. Like they're not. They're actually, that's just how they act. That's just 
how they act. Like, I can't stress that enough. I just seen this one prank and these couples, this cup, this couple, okay, the boy brung the girl back, another girl, and was saying, like, that's my stepsister, say hey to my stepsister, whatever, and then the stepsister came out and was like, I'm, I'm doing it to him, like, and the wife, whatever, flipped out, but what really tripped me out is, how like y'all ain't even hide the camera like the camera is dead in y'all face like dead in your face so you telling me if your boyfriend bring back another girl talking about that's his steps to say you see a whole big camera in your face you're not gonna think it's a prank like come on for real like that was so fake reaction was fake you just did all of that for no reason like no fake <laughs> but that's just my opinion next okay i got two more and then i'm done so kool-aid overrated like people be saying kool-aid with chicken so good oh my gosh like kool-aid is just the best like can't nobody make kool-aid like my family can make kool-aid like that no can't nobody family make kool-aid period because it's nasty like i'm not drinking no kool-aid i'm telling you i'm really strictly water and juice like i do not like kool-aid at all I cannot stress this enough. Kool-Aid is so nasty. And that's really an overrated drink. Then you just throw the whole drink away. Throw the whole freaking flavor thing of Kool-Aid away. Like, throw it away. Like, you making these people rich for no reason. And it's nasty. Next. Okay. Last but not least. Everything that is designer is not cute. Like, quit putting it on your body. All these Instagram famous people, like, y'all really be wearing these baggy freaking Versace pants. <laughs> these baggy freaking Versace pants and these freaking shirts. And it's just like, why? Like, that stuff is not cute. Like, the shoes, I be trying to, like... <laughs> not just Versace, but like Louis, Louis Vuitton, like all of the famous um, designer things. Like, no, like the shoes. Let's just get on the shoes. Like, they be making some crazy shoes, and people be really buying them only because they're designer. I feel like the little stuff that's designer is cute. Like a little shirt with Louis Vuitton on it. That's cute. Like let's go back to the shoes <laughs> the shoes is not like no and they be saying yeah them fire no them are ugly like no and then they think putting it together with these all these designer outfit like no it's not cute it's not like it's not and that's just that on that period